Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Gustavus Sports Rewind. As always, I'm your host James Piper and this week we'll be starting out with men's basketball. After eight minutes of even first half play, Gustavus won on a 20-4 scoring splurge versus visiting Augsburg, giving them an 11 point lead. Here's Tyler Gray nailing a three during that run. Paul Blacklock extended the Gustavus lead to 15 points, shown here by knocking down two of his team high 12 first half points. Augsburg got no closer than 15 points for most of the first 14 minutes of the second half, but then Augsburg went on a 12-2 run in the waning minutes of the game. Augsburg had to foul as the clock wound down, sending several Gusties to the line to ice the game. The final was a 66-58 Gustavus victory. The Gusties didn't have such a one-sided start when Bethel came to town two days later. The first half ended with a three-point Gustavus lead, Thanks largely to another great 12-point first half by tall Paul Blacklock. Dan Schmitnack helped Gustavus break away from Bethel with his 14-point second half effort, including two long three-pointers. Gustavus' big men were a huge factor in the game, as Blacklock ended up with 14 points while Reed Sahlstrom and Bobby Johnson had 9 each. Take a look at Johnson's and one here. Bethel had to play catch-up the rest of the game, and Gustavus closed out the 85-72 victory, their fourth straight. Now let's take a look at men's hockey. The men's hockey team hosted St. John's last week in a game where home ice advantage was definitely in effect. Take a look at this play. Mitch Carlson hurls the puck out of the zone, then Ross Ring Jarvie sends it up to Zach May, who then carries it up the ice and sends it back to Ring Jarvie, who puts it home to give Gustavus a 1-0 lead. The second period featured a barrage of Gustavus goals, starting with Ryan Noonan just two and a half minutes in. Shale Hector scored in this slapper at the nine minute mark, and Dayton Eriks had rounded out the second period scoring with this top shelf beauty. Gustavus cruised to a 5-1 victory and are currently second in the MIAC. Now we'll take a look at men's and women's Nordic skiing, gymnastics, and women's hockey from last Saturday. The men's and women's Nordic ski teams traveled to Minneapolis for the Mayor's Challenge last Saturday. The women's team finished 6th of the team. Their top three performers were Erica Hett in 17th place, Mary in London 26th place, and Danielle Bergmeier in 28th place. The men took 4th place as a team, despite racing without their top performer, Jens Brabbit. The rest of the team really picked up the slack, with Anders Bauman finishing 18th, Zach Wagner finishing 23rd, and Gabe Hansen finishing 25th. This coming weekend, select team members will be traveling to Michigan for the NCAA qualifiers. After defeating St. Ben's 8-1 the night before, the women's hockey team was certainly not expecting to find themselves down a goal early in the Saturday matinee. Kerry Grasky scored the unassisted goal for St. Ben's just 90 seconds into the game. Megan Wanicke tied the game at 1 just 2 minutes later, assisted by Alyssa Gallrup and Tam Mavison. Fast forward to the third period, it's Wanicke scoring again with this beautiful snipe midway through the third. Gustavus outshot St. Ben's 54-22, Gustavus held on for the 2-1 conference victory, with Wanaki's second goal being the game winner. The gymnastics team came in third last Saturday when they hosted Lacrosse and Hamlin for the Gustavus Triangular. Senior Kelly Mathewson and sophomore Danielle Thibodeau were the top Gustavus performers. Mathewson took third in the uneven bars, shown here sticking her landing, and Thibodeau took third on the balance beam and sixth in the all-around category. The meet was the Gusties' best showing of the season by more than a 7-point margin, and the Gusties will look to further improve when they travel to lacrosse February 4th. That's it for this week's edition of the Gustavus Sports Rewind. Be sure to join us next week when we take a look at men's and women's indoor track and field. Until then, go Gusties!